The reason to shoot an Apple Log in H.265 is obviously because of the file size advantages over ProRes 422HQ, but also to have access to 4K 60p internally with Apple Log. Your file sizes are going to vary depending on what it is you're filming, as the Blackmagic Camera app seems to have a variable bitrate algorithm in the works. During my color banding test, ProRes was sitting at approximately 546 megabits per second, while H.265 sat at 2.5 megabits per second. When filming something extremely detailed, like trees with a bunch of leaves on it slightly blowing in the wind, the ProRes 422HQ came in at 681 megabits per second, while H.265 came in at 39 megabits per second. Because of this variable bitrate nature for the H.265, you can experience some color banding, especially in darker areas that does have a slight color gradient. It doesn't show up as much in brighter exposed images, but it's still technically a little bit there as we can see in the waveform. At the time of this video, Blackmagic just updated their app to version 1.1, just two weeks after launch, and they've added a whole bunch of features. I'm hoping that in the future, one of those features is going to be constant bitrate. That way we lock everything in and hopefully can escape from some of the color banding issues with H.265. The next difference that I saw is nothing new. The ProRes will technically look noisier because you will see the grain detail as it's not compressed. Whereas the H.265, it will compress it away and therefore it will technically look less grainy, but it's gonna sacrifice this at the cost of edge detail. If we really zoom in here, we can see that the ProRes is technically just a little bit sharper with its edge detail, while the H.265 is a little bit more muddy or smeary looking. But keep in mind here that we are pixel peeping at this moment. As far as how the H.265 handles coloring, it seems to handle it quite well, even though its bitrate can get pretty low. When I applied my True Life LUT, I didn't see much of a difference between the H.265 and the ProRes 422HQ. Even when I did the whole white balance color correction, the H.265 held up quite well and it didn't seem to break. After these tests, I feel that H.265 Apple Log is more than viable, especially if the video is just going to be on a small smartphone screen anyways. In fact, this entire A-roll talking headshot is shot with Apple Log in H.265. So let me know in the comments down below if you plan to use H.265 for your Apple Log filming. And if you want to learn more about Apple Log or maybe the Blackmagic Camera app, I got some more videos for you right here. <laughs>